<laughs> this is the first time in my life it happened to me like this. It's never happened to me like this. Just a brutal attack caught on camera as a Buddhist monk was robbed in the temple that he calls home on Old Hickory Boulevard. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Carrie Sharp and new tonight. Metro Police say they have recovered the van the thieves got away in. And now the monk who was restrained and hit is sharing his story. He spoke to News Channel 5's Jason Lamb. It would be an understatement to say this Buddhist temple is important to monk Nam Langsavat. It's his place of worship and his home. Yeah, okay for me though. Be quiet, you know. I like to be quiet. <laughs> but things weren't quiet Sunday morning, right before nine, when Nam heard something. That I heard that somebody knocked the door. But police say the five people at the door weren't there to worship when he opened it. And they just pushed the door and ran in. While police say four people who appear to be women searched the temple for money, Nam says a man restrained him. I turned my... Uh, grabbed my arm and twit and rock me up like this, and he grabbed my neck and lock up. I still saw it right now, but it's okay right now. Nam says the group stole about $3,700 from the temple, but they weren't done yet. Surveillance video shows Nam grabbing a satchel from one of the robbers to keep them from getting away. They put pretty hard, two of them. The friend hit me the second time, I just fell too. And I thought that they just take off. The group left in a silver Toyota van that's now been recovered. Days later, Nam says it's all like a bad car accident. You know, it's like a when you got a car accident. You know, your heart shaking. You don't, you know what, what, what happened, what, what you're going to do, you know. It happened so fast. But I think that's okay to right now. He says he's learned his lesson. But from now, I'm going to, you know, look before I open the door or whatever. But he also says he'll keep his temple available. This is a temple will be welcome to everybody when they come. Ready for those who may need it. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.